Okay, we've got quite a bit going on here. This is the pulse transducer that was built in gadgets number eight. I'm tapping into the intake manifold vacuum through the brake booster hose. And we're going to use the HS402 Pro that's also built on the gadgets playlist. Now I need a second channel as a sink on cylinder number one. Which brings us to our latest gadget, a very simple sink pro. This is just a piece of 14 gauge wire that came out of NYMEX residential wiring that can be slipped over a coil. Single wire going to the center pin of this BNC, no ground. Even in a tight spot like this, uh, the 14 gauge copper wire can be wrapped around a coil. It is much less invasive than pulling back the insulation on this connector and uh, trying to get an amp clamp around the control wire. Also less invasive than back probing that control wire. Okay, let's zoom in on that. You'll notice that our sink marks are nice and clear here. And that it's a triple strike right on these fours at idle. Let's bring in the cylinder timing overlay that's built into 8-scope. It's part of a suite of automotive overlays. And we're going to anchor the bookends to the first strike of the ignition. Zoom in a little bit here. Drag it to there. And same on this end. There. Okay, so let's have a look at it and uh, see what we can derive from this. First of all, I don't see a problem with this vehicle because there's a peak here for each cylinder. All right. The overlay shows us uh, red for combustion, brown for exhaust, yellow for intake, and orange for compression. When cylinder number one was on its intake and there would have been an issue here, you would have uh, maybe said there might be a problem with the intake and or the exhaust valve on one. But there is also number seven was undergoing exhaust at the same time. And if there was a problem with the intake valve on number seven, it would have affected the intake uh, pressure while number one was undergoing its intake stroke, right? This is the opposite of uh, companion cylinders. Companion cylinders is where uh, the two cylinders are moving up to top dead center at the same time. Here you have number one would have gone uh, to bottom dead center while number seven was heading towards top dead center, right? But they're linked. And if you saw misfire codes for those two and you're scratching your head, you would know that this is the correlation. It would also help you, um, guide you into, if you're going to start conducting in-cylinder pressure test, uh, instead of chasing eight cylinders, now you're narrowing it down to two. Same thing would happen. Let's say that there was an issue here with number six. Number four is the cylinder that's undergoing the exhaust stroke at that time. So if there was a problem with that peak here, it was either problems with the valves on number six or the intake valve stuck open on number four. Very powerful tool. One more in our bag of tricks. So guys, just a word about this DIY pulse transducer. You know, it's quite one thing to use them on the exhaust 
or use them at crankcase uh, pressures. But when you subject it to a full intake manifold vacuum, that's a whole other ball game, right? This surface that supports the piezo in the original build is not wide enough. You can find these polyethylene washers at your hardware store. Hot glue won't stick to polyethylene. So the piezo is held with this 3M double adhesive tape, a couple of strips on each side. This fits nicely in here. And then when put together, this surface comes in contact with the double adhesive tape, holding the piezo securely into position. So maybe you're not into building something like this, right? Yet you'd like to have one without paying through the nose for it. Have a look at uh, what Rotkey offers. At 17 bucks, it's hardly worth building one, right? Now, of course, the elephant in the room is the shipping. So it's no longer 17 bucks at the end of the day. But browse through the site and you're going to see their product line. And there's a whole slew of value priced things there. Um, another example is this. That does exactly what we're doing with this uh, latest gadget that I featured here for a sink. If you get two or three of these items sharing the shipping, it becomes less of a factor, right? So I'm not getting paid for any of this, guys. Um, the Gadgets playlist is all about us having access to this technology at prices that make sense. It just so happens that Rodkey is on the same page. Take care, guys.